Yeah, so today we are going to talk about um, the third temple, the Antichrist, and the mark of the beast, right? Because man, them I say, yo, the mark of the beast is, is not here. It's it's not even made yet, all right? Because the beast is not here. And Daniel 7 says that a beast is a kingdom, right? And then, then them I talk about <coughs> the Antichrist, right? But remember, I said the word anti is up opposite or opposed right so if i'm anti-dog right i mean i'm opposed to dogs so if i'm anti-christ i'm opposed to christ right that the when christ means say um a ninth anti-king what the king yeah i was right so when you say anti-christ right all you're saying is somebody that's against the, the ways of the lord a sinner is anti Christ. You understand? So, you have that. Then they want to talk about the third temple, right? But people forget, say that we are the third temple, right? And there's no more physical temple. So, let's go into this. Let's go into this, right? So, let's get um Isaiah 2 and 3. And many people shall go and say, come ye. And let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Right? So, yo, you have to remember, so the scriptures is a deep thing, doubling meaning and all them things that are. Right? Because Jerusalem is a people before it is a place. So, but same way the law go come out of that place too. But the people of Jerusalem are the prophets, so the law come out of them. You see how the temple is a physical thing, but it's a spiritual thing as well. Because Jerusalem are the temple, that's where the law and the law come from. But the people of Jerusalem as well, because we make from the dirt, Jerusalem dirt. That's the dust of the ground that Adam was made from. So, we are... We are as well. We are Jerusalem as well. So the law come out of our mouth. Right? It come out of the mouth of the prophets. Right? So so um Jerusalem, right? Remember Jerusalem. So Hebrews twelve and twenty two. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, right? And unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and the and the innumerable company of angels. So Jerusalem is Mount Zion. Right, and you look upon an old school map, Mount Zion. You understand over there, so in Israel, right? This is the physical Jerusalem, right? Remember, say we are the spiritual Jerusalem, but this are the physical Jerusalem, right? And you know, say you are spiritual Jerusalem because the words are, are, are the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Are the Spirit of God, right? So if you are a prophet of Him, meaning you speak His words, right? Then you are. You are spiritually Jerusalem, right? That's all you know if a man is 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 of Jerusalem. If you must speak the the proper doctrine, you understand so. Job eleven and six, and that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom that they are double to that which is. No, therefore that God is exactive of thee less than thine iniquity deserve it. So, the the scriptures have a double meaning. Right, that's what I mean by, that's why I mean I talk about man them have physical Jerusalem, then you have the spiritual Jerusalem, right? So, so a man them I talk about a third temple. The third temple, now, now go up in on it this lifetime. Right, a third physical temple now go up in a, in at this lifetime. Right, the third spiritual temple it there, right, and that is you. Remember, I always go into that you are the third temple of God. Right, so let's get back into the scripture, right? So first Kings eight and nineteen. Nevertheless, thou shalt not build the house, right? This is Yahweh talking to um David, telling him, Yo, you're not gonna build my house, but thy son that shall come forth out of thy lines, he shall build the house unto my name, right? So Solomon I'll go build the temple. Right? God David too bloody. Right? So this was the first temple. Which the Babylonians have destroyed, right? Remember that in um, Psalms 137 verse 7. Remember all uh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So, 
that's talking about back then, right? When them destroy the first physical temple, right? Jeremiah 25 and 10. Moreover, I will take from them the vice of mirth and the vice of gladness and the vice of, bri of the bridegroom and the vice of the bride, the sound of the millstones and the light of the candle, right? So remember the scriptures is doubling meaning, right? So when the first time the Babylonians run in to Jerusalem, them take... Them literally take people. <laughs> right? Them take the bridegroom. Right? And the bride. And the light of the candle. Right? Physically. Because, remember I say, if you're our shy, so-called Jesus, right? You're our Basham, you're our shy. Are the bride. Are the, um, are the groom. Right? That means that the kings of Judah are the, are, the, are, the, are the groom as well. Are the bridegrooms as well. Right? And if, and if um, the saints, the hundred and forty four thousand, right, are his bride, that means say, that the the mighty men of the kings of Judah, right, and the prophets are the bride as well, right, and 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 if the uh, the light of a candle, right, remember say them have a literal candle, right, Moses gave gave them instructions in our Exodus for make the candle and the scent and the the bowls for all the candlesticks and all them thing they so have a physical candle but proverbs also tell us that that um the candle and a lamp is symbolic with the law and the commandments right so people right you have the actual you have the physical what this is talking about then you have the, the spiritual what this is talking about right so back then in the time of babylon when babylon come in pan jerusalem right them actually take away the, the, the actual physical things like physical candle them take away um you understand the king them take away the mighty man all that spirit physical act you understand physical but no it's a spiritual thing right so matthew 9 and 15 right and your hour shall i said unto them can the children of the bride chamber man as long as the bridegroom is with them but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them and they sh and then they shall fast and then shall they fast right be marn and all that right so what he's saying is john 16 and 7 nevertheless i tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away for if I not if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart I will send him unto you. So what he's saying is that he is the bridegroom. Right? Your hour shy, the son of God is the bridegroom. Right? And we are the children of the bride ch chamber. We are the bride. We are his bride. Right? But but back then, right, in the time of the first and second temple. When they get taken by the Babylonians, then then the Grecian man them, right? That was all a, a physical thing, right? A representation, right? Just like the the last sacrifice was a schoolmaster until you always try to come back, right? Same way with the, the physical temple was a schoolmaster, right? So we said that the kings of Judah are the bride, just like you always try, because he come from the line of David, right? That's why he is the king. Right? Psalms 132 verse 11. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. So all the kings of Judah come from David. Even unto Yahushai, he's the son of David, right? So all the kings of Judah were considered like a bride, like, like, like I mean, a bridegroom, right? And then the mighty men and the prophets were his bride, right? His people are, are his bride, right? So that was like a, a, you understand, there's nothing new under the sun, right? Because Jeremiah 6 and 2, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. So the man them, that the king reigned over, right? The king being a representation of the bride, of, of the bridegroom. But the man them where him reigned over, the rest of Israel, are his bride, his woman, right? That's his a, a spiritual representation, right? Just like Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. Right? So that's the lamb, that's your hour shy, with the hundred and forty four thousand on top of Mount Zion. Right? That's him with him bride. That's the bridegroom with him bride. 
right? So, 2 Kings 25 and 7. And they slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, and put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and bound him with fetters of brass, and carried him to Babylon. So them carried away the bridegroom, right? Showing you, right? You understand? The physical from spiritual, right? And where else them take away? Where else them take away? Verse 14, 2 Kings 24 and 14. And he carried away all Jerusalem, and all of the prince, and, oh, and he carried away all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of valor, even ten thousand captives and all the craftsmen and the smiths. None remain save the poorest sort of the people out of the land, right of the land. So him take away the vice of the of the, of the bride. Him take away the the bride, the bride, the bridegroom, the vice, the candlestick. Take away all of that, right? That's the physical thing, right? So remember um, Revelation 21 and 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had, had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. Right? So remember we talk about it up here, about Mount Zion being his bride, right? And it said at Jerusalem 144,000, right? So verse 10, And he carried me away into the spirit, in the spirit to a great and high mountain and he showed me that great city the holy jerusalem descending out of heaven from god so jerusalem is the bride of god right is the is the lamb's bride yeah our shy right so remember so we have to link that back right so he said i will show thee the bride's wife then he say look jerusalem coming out of of, of, of heaven is the bride's wife right is the lamb's wife the bride right but but watch this. Right? Second Ezra 13 and 35. But he shall stand upon the, the top of Mount Zion. So this is talking about the Lamb, right? He's standing on top of Mount Zion. Right? Verse 36. And Zion shall come and, and shall be shewed to all men being prepared and build it like as thou sawest the ill graven with thou hands. Right? So Zion I go come while he's on Mount Zion. Right, and that's the hundred and forty four thousand, and that's his bride. Right? And Sion shall come. Right? So hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait there, wait there. Right? Revelation twenty one and nine. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come Ida. I will show thee the bride and the, the, and the lamb's wife. So the bride is the lamb's wife, right? And then verse 10, And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that the great city, the holy Jerusalem. That's the bride, right? Sion is Jerusalem, right? But he shall stand upon the top of Mount Sion, right? And Sion shall come and shall be shewed to all men, being prepared and builded like as though Sasa ill graven without hands. That's talking about the 144,000. And they are the bride of, of Yahweh Shai, so-called Jesus Christ. Right? Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Right? There's nothing new. It just go from physical to spiritual to spiritual to physical. It mingle and mix as time go on and it get deeper and more meaning come out and more prophecy get activated within the situation. Right? Because kings have been they, they, they've take they they them have um prophets have been persecuted since since Moses time, right? But more prophecy have have for come. So until the time of, 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 of immortality, until the time when the Lord come forgive people eternal damnation or eternal eternal uh life, you understand? And, and, and that's all. Everything I go repeat itself until all is fulfilled. Right? So Jeremiah twenty five and ten. Moreover, I will take from them the vice of the mirth and the vice of gladness, the vice of the bridegroom. Right, that are, that are the king and the vice of the bride, that are in prophets and his mighty men, the sounds of the millstone and the light of the camp, that are the laws of, the, of God. And my God, take away the, the, the Lord, right, his prophets and the Lord, where that Lord wants us to live. It's going to get scratched off, 
right? That's the great falling away that have to take place. And this happened many times it, from the Babylon, to Persia, even in the time of the Maccabees and the Grecians, right? First Maccabees 1 and 54. No, the 15th day of the month, Kaslu, in the, the 140 and 5th year, they set up the abomination of desolation upon the altar and built idol altars throughout the city of Judah on every, uh, every side. So, the abominable altar, right? Put upon the altar and all type of wicked paganism was the Grecian's thing. Right? That caused the abomination of desolation for come upon the physical temple. When you put unholy things inside of the temple of God, the physical temple, it caused it to be desolate. Right? So first Maccabees 1 and 21 and entered proudly into the sanctuary and took away the golden altar and the candlestick of, of light and all the vessels thereof. So back just like Babylon, the Maccabees do the same thing, right? The same thing. But that was physical. Hosea 12 and 10. I have, I, 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 bumbo, I have also spoken by the prophets and I have, multi I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So God always I go use similitudes and metaphors and the way I'm, the way I'm talk, you have to really be get you have to really be another precept upon precept thing. Right? For understand say, alright, this is a physical, this is spiritual. Okay, this I go happen again in a different way because nothing new under the sun. Not one jot nor tit shall pass until all be fulfilled. Right? So Proverbs six and twenty three. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is a light. Reproofs are uh, of instruction are the way of life. So when they talk about the candlestick, right? Yeah, them literally take away a candlestick. But when them take away the candlestick and they take the man them and the king and the princes and, and the priests out of the temple, no, the people of Israel don't have leadership. They don't have priests. They don't have teachers to feed the flock, right? The law gone. The bridegroom gone. The vice gone. No prophets. No correction. No judgment according to the Lord commandments. Are established in the gates no more. Right? So John 2 and 19. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them. Destroy this temple. And in three days I will raise it up. So now we're done with our physical temple now. Now the Lord with him sacrifice. Right? When him come back up after three nights and three days. Right? Now we are the temple. Our body is acceptable through his sacrifice. To, to inhabit the spirit of the Lord now. Right? Because 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, know you not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Right? So Matthew 24 verse 15, no, we are going to end it off on the mark of the beast subject now. Right? We're just going through the, the, the old way to talk about the first and, and second and third temple and all that thing. Right? It was a physical versus the spiritual thing. No, the temple is you. Right? No, you are the temple. Right? When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Right? What is the holy place? You. You are the temple of God, which is holy, which temple ye are. You understand? Right? Who so read this, let him understand what happened. Because the law take away the physical temple. No, we are the spiritual temple. We are the, the, the bride. Okay? Okay? Right? We are trying to be the elect, so we want to be the bride. We are the, the friends, the children of the bride, right? The elect, right? So, so 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4, who opposeth, because this are the son of perdition, me and gain, right? It's end off before the world collapse. It want to take everybody in the lake of fire with them, because them know them have no salvation, right? So, them, them distract you with a third temple have to be met in Jerusalem before the mark of the beast come. Ah, uh, uh, Abraham, my cards, all of them things there. Distraction, distraction. You are the third temple, right? Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So the son of perdition, right? The wicked rulers of this world. The Moafi dwelling at the temple of God and show themselves that them is God. Right now, you are the temple of God. So all them are going to do that. Right? Revelation 13 and 16. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Where will the mark go? In their right hand or in their forehead. Right? So I'm, I'm make everybody get a mark. 
in them right hand or in them forehead and them and 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 your right hand and your forehead are a part of your body now your body is the temple of god right so when you understand that the mark of the beast is is a is a is a is a a, a chips of eye chocolate chip cookie right for your zero six zero six zero six body activity data are, are lucifer ac right tracking injectable right them thing there go inside of your temple right them track you and give you cryptocurrency in the third temple right so now you take with god out of your temple and put man in your temple right you put the son of perdition on in your temple right and now he can tell you when you are sick no he can reward you right when you do good and you do bad now god now go deal with you car doing that you put the man inside of your body, you cause your body to be desolate of the Lord's spirit. Why God need to be in a you know, right? Why does the Lord, why you have to pray about you be feeling like you're sick no more? You have you have the, the man inside of you who can tell if you're sick or not, right? No more lying about, oh, I'm calling out work. Them check your, 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 your chips or oh, chocolate chip, chip cookie and you never did sick, right? Oh, I, 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 I'm not sick. I've been, I've been vahar, I've been jib jabbed, right? No, we can scan your, your Lucifer, trackable, scannable, uh, right? No, we can scan your temple, because the Lucifer in there, and we can see if you're up to date on any of your vaccination, right? That's the abomination of desolation. You don't need God no more, because you put the man of sin, perdition inside of your temple, which is the temple of God, which is your body. Right, so there will be no third temple. There will be no spooky antichrist, man. All right, you are the third temple. Mark of the beast is here. Okay, be not deceived.